Yo, yo. We're back. We're done. We ain't back. All right, Mikey, what do we got? Finished. 99.9% .9 finished. <laughs> Mostly. I put like two blinds up and that's it. Mostly finished. Yeah. So this is the living room, I guess you would call it. The wall used to be way further out where there's just a little doorway here. Uh, so we took that out a little bit, opened it up into the kitchen, dining room a little bit more. We kept all the sheetrock in here, well, all the plaster. It's actually three eighths sheetrock with plaster on top of it. We kept all that and we had my boy Dan skim coat it all. Did a great job. Dan the Spackle Man. Yeah, we ran all new electric in here. We were able to fish new wires and all that stuff. So the problem with this house is the layout of the kitchen. Since they had this side door here under this little tiny porch, it's hard to enclose this. Um, it's hard to get an island in here. Uh, we could have got an island, but where do you put the fridge? You know, it's kind of like one of the funky situations. So we did what we thought was best here. So we put the fridge over here with a little top cabinet, side panels on it. Still got the doorway to come in. Most of the time people are gonna walk in this way when they come in from the yeah, driveway. Driveway's over there. You know, we did the nice quartz countertops, brought it over here to our bench we built with the ship lab and the butcher block top. And then we did like a little pantry closet here. Just, we only did this because you need more storage. There's not, you know, not enough cabins in my opinion. These houses were built the way they were. You can only do so much with them. So. <laughs> that's Mike's the, uh, the design eye here. With the uh, builder, the butcher block. Yeah. It's his interior design skill. Yeah, that's it. At his finest. It is just a rental, so we, we're not going too crazy with it. Then you come along into here, hallway, all, all the plaster are stayed. We just um, skim coated it. New electric though throughout the whole place. We were able to fish everything, obviously. Come into the, the bathroom. We worked with what we got. New tile floor, new sheetrock in here. It was all. Rich was crying the day to take the old plaster down. The uh, wet bed with the with oh, the yeah. you know, two inches of wet bed and tile that you had to take down. You know the tile up along the top of the wall. Those are always fun bathrooms to demo. This bedroom, we only sheetrocked this wall and that wall. Kept the two windows, boob light up top, little closet there. You know, what was the deal with these walls again? They it's just cinder block with it's like cinder block and first, so we decided to throw it out because this room's already small enough. We didn't want to put two by fours with R13 in it, so we just throw it out and put a foam board back there. Yeah, that's what they had there before, too. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not the greatest, I guess, but yeah, do the got, trick, it gets the job done. Okay, <laughs> uh, master, I guess you would call this the master bedroom. First floor, master bedroom, living. Everyone likes that. I love it in my house. Uh, basically, I think all the plaster stayed here. The yeah, we didn't do any sheetrock in here. It just skimmed. By the way, these are all new doors we did. So new doors, new hardware. Uh, we kept these are in decent shape. Yeah, some of the closet doors we kept. Yeah, I mean, obviously we trimmed around, you know, re-trimmed around, and we put a little... Piece of plywood up there for a shelf. What kind of trim is this again? Contemporary? Contemporary. That's what they call it. So we did replace these two windows. Old work or um, replacement windows, they call them. They turned out pretty nice. Yeah, builder grade ceiling fan. New carpet, new electric. You know the deal. All right, now we got the carpet. So the steps, handrail was here. We kept it. Looks nice. You know, it's also another thing we put... Hard wire smoke detectors throughout the whole place. Safety first. So, uh, I guess we'll start with the bathroom up here. This whole second floor is kind of a mess. This is a little dormer section. So they did leave us with like a little bathroom area. There's not a lot of ceiling height, but what are you gonna do? Double van, three whole faucets, nice little mirror fixtures, you know, whatever. New toilet, obviously new plumbing all throughout. New shower, we went with fiberglass base. Bring it on over here. Both these bedrooms are pretty much the same. This one's a little bit smaller, but the same idea. It's got this nice little dormer area. We did re-sheet rock, re-insulate. We reframed this whole Ref stairs. Reframed half, you know, most of it. We tried to keep the uh, sheet rock and failed miserably, so. Yeah, uh, it just wasn't worth it. Well, we did laminate the ceiling. Yeah. So that's, we kept that, but. New doors, 
new, new sliders too. Bing, bang, boom. This one's definitely bigger. So if Same we look deal. at over here, you can see that this one's bigger. In the other room, they're both the same size. So this one's probably, I don't know, what do you say? Three feet. Three feet longer. Two feet longer, maybe. It's a nice size room. Yeah. Come on down to the basement. Come on down to the basement. We still gotta get our carpet runner, which my four guys supposed to do one of these days. But we did like a little painted tread with a, with a carpet runner. And then the risers, we did, they have like these nice little oak risers they do. The whole basin was demoed, reframed all the walls, framed doorways, framed in the soffit, put the HVAC in, put, you know, ran all electric, ran all the plumbing. We got our main shutoff valve here. Uh, we, that's why we need the access panel. What are you going to do? Uh, we put a nice new drop ceiling in. This basement's so nice. Very nice basement, in my opinion. You lose a little headroom here, but I mean, what? Unless you're like 6'3", you ain't ducking. Right. That's what will make you duck. You know what I mean? <laughs> but LEDs throughout the, the joint. Uh, we got a sump pump room we did. Just enough to put a sump pump in. New windows. Recap the you know, put trim around the columns. Then what they had before, they had like a, I don't even know, it was like a messed up angle here with a raised platform toilet and all. We got away with it. We re reframed it all. And then we did this nice little back outlet toilet. It's a Yorkville, I think, back so outlet. So. so we had to do that because the plumbing goes right out into the yard right there. Well, the elevation of the plumbing. The elevation of the plumbing. Comes right through the wall, at the, sitting on the floor pretty much. Right. So you so, either have to raise the toilet up or you have one of these back outlets. Because normally, I guess every normal toilet just goes down. It works off gravity. Gotcha. So a lot of times in basements, either you do a raised platform if your sewer ele elevation is low enough, or you do a you jackhammer slab, you do a pump, or you do like another type of pump that you don't have to jackhammer the slab. We ain't doing any of that. We're doing we did the back outlet tool that works off gravity, and it goes right out the back wall. We built a little wall here to house the the, the plumbing and set the tool up against. You know, it's a pressure assist tool, but. They make them that um, not pressure assist, but either way, it's a back outlet to it. Back to so this is a laundry room slash powder room, I guess you want to say, you know, one of them basement things. Got a little little cheesy vanity just to wash your hands. You're not you know doing makeup down here, and then you got the washer dryers over here. Nice little window. Rich still has to put this plate on this plug. This is the other part you can do whatever you want. I don't know I think what the people guy had his office over here yeah before. an office or a little workout thing over here so whatever you want to do this is our partition wall that separates the mechanical room so we still gotta get a lot of our junk out our old you know our tools and everything but got the water heater here hvac here which shoots right down alongside the beam right so they didn't have hvac before right so we no, put central baseboard. air in yeah and they had baseboard heat with an oil tank yeah so there was a boiler, an oil tank right where Mike's standing, all those rocks are over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, took that out and swapped it all out. We tried to get gas, but uh, they don't run it to this section of the street. So ended up just being able to do electric heat pump. Electric backup. Electric backup. And then what do we do? Orlando helped us with our uh, electrical service over here. Yeah, we replaced the electrical service and upgraded the panel at 200 amps. Once you go heat pump, you're pretty much going to have to get a 200 amp service. Maybe you, maybe you get away with a 150, but 100 amp service ain't really going to do it with a heat pump and a stove. You know, once you go stove, heat pump, all that stuff. Yeah, running it. You're maxing time. out. Something else that was kind of interesting to me, at least, was we ripped all the walls down on the perimeter of the basement, and it was just like wood paneling up against the cinder block, basically. I don't know if you remember. Furring strips. Furring strips. And we swapped them out and put two by four framing up against the wall. So uh, you tell me what's, I guess it's like that room upstairs. It's a benefit because we were able to put insulation behind all that. Insulation, you can get your electrical back there, your run plumbing. mechanical, like stuff like that, you know. Okay, so that's an advantage in that case. You know, these walls, the basement, I guess, is technically an inch and a half smaller, 
you know, like just the general perimeter like three of inch, three two, inches because it's like the whole perimeter of the basement. But, you know, you can't really tell. We got our walkout door back right here. Little walkout. And then we didn't do nothing for the outside here in regards to siding or, or roofing. Yeah. Got the same siding. It's in decent enough shape. It'll do. It's a center block house anyway, so... Ain't gonna leak nothing. Ain't gonna ruin any. Yeah, there's wood. no sheathing to get ruined, right? Yeah, but I mean this siding's not in decent shape, so. Yeah. Freshened up the deck a little bit. You got different tread colors compared to the deck color because you can't find the deck color anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean we really just wanted to replace all these posts and everything, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the posts and the handrails. So. And Rich ruined the tread, so we had to redo that. Yeah, it did. The stringers. But yeah, they were like falling off before it was like a safety hazard yeah, so it was, it was rotted we really needed to do that and then yeah i mean this is the front yard looks pretty decent maybe some mulch or whatever but you know like i said we kept the roof kept the siding it's in pretty decent enough shape so but I mean, that's pretty much it for this house we just got to get rid of trash and we're, we're out of here all right, and we'll do, uh, we got tenants already. That's why we're doing it a little early because they're starting to move in. Yeah. And uh, we'll do a financial breakdown of the house in the next few weeks. Rich will have a heart attack. Probably, yeah. All right, Mike, give us a thumbs up. Another That's project it, done. Next one on, on to the next one. Yeah.